Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Now with this video, I'm going to show you how to use the rotate tool. So the rotate tool works similar to the move tool in terms of its functions, but obviously it rotates stuff in SketchUp. So to activate the rotate tool, you can press Q on your keyboard to rotate in SketchUp, or you can click on the rotate tool in your drawing toolbar. Now what I would suggest is that you select the group first and then press the rotate tool or the Q key on your keyboard to know which group or component you want to rotate. So if you want to rotate this, you need to first click the base point from where you want to rotate from. So you want to randomly click somewhere here in space. After you click, you need to click the second point which is going to be our reference point. So I'm going to click this as our reference point and I'm simply going to rotate it to 90 degrees. Now you can also rotate and copy like how we have move and copy. So I'm going to click once again at the point of rotation. And then the second would be the reference point which I want to rotate from. And now if I press control key on my keyboard, it makes a copy. So I can make a copy this way as well. And you can also rotate and make multiple number of copies. So I'm going to maybe select this now. I can also draw it at a certain distance. So I'm going to use the line as the reference. I generally use the line more than the tape measure tool to draw reference lines, but it's your call. So I'm going to give this, let's say 30 feet. And now I can select this group, press Q to activate the rotate tool, select the end point, and then select the reference point you want to rotate from. And then you need to click on the second point to place it. And after you place it, before you click anywhere or press the escape key, type in X into 20 and press enter. So that makes a array of copies of your group. And if you want to adjust the value, since 20 doesn't close the loop without pressing anywhere again, I'm just going to type in 23, press enter and that would close the loop. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we created a circle shape. You can also divide stuff. You know, for example, I'm going to copy this now and rotate it from the center. Place it here. And then I'm going to divide by say 10. Press enter and that would divide it into a semicircle equally spaced out. So that's the rotate tool, a pretty handy tool when it comes to rotating stuff in SketchUp. I also want to bring to your attention that you can rotate with the move tool. So if I press M on my keyboard and if I hover over any group, you can see that we have these plus points. So with these points here, you can simply click them and then rotate in SketchUp. So you don't really need to use the rotate tool all the time, but in certain stages, you might require to use the rotate tool. You can simply use the move tool and click on these anchor points to rotate in SketchUp. So that was a quick introduction into rotate tool in SketchUp. In the next video, we're going to learn how to use components in SketchUp. See you guys in the next video. Cheers.